So imagine this. The seventh angel pours out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice comes from the temple in heaven saying, It is done! That's like the final chapter of this big story. Then boom, lightning, thunder, and a massive earthquake hit. We're not talking about your regular earthquake. This one is so huge that nothing like it has ever happened before. The whole earth is shaken, cities collapse, and mountains are leveled. Even islands are disappearing. Babylon, the great city, gets a special mention. It's completely shattered, and God's wrath is fully poured out on it. It's like everything that's been building up finally reaches its peak, and the whole earth feels it. And if that wasn't enough, huge hailstones, each weighing about 100 pounds, start falling from the sky. People are freaking out, cursing God because of how intense it all is. This scene is like the ultimate wake-up call, showing just how powerful God's judgment can be. It's a reminder that when God says something, He means it, and nothing can stand against His power when it's time for judgment. So let's keep rolling. After that intense scene with the seventh bowl, you gotta realize what this all means. The earth being shaken to its core, cities crumbling, and massive hailstones, it's not just about destruction. It's showing us that everything we think is strong and unshakable can be wiped out in a moment when God's judgment comes. But here's the thing, this isn't just about doom and gloom. It's a wake-up call for people to see what really matters. All the power, the wealth, the cities, None of that stands a chance when God decides it's time. This is like God's way of saying, hey, wake up, pay attention to what's really important. So what do we do with this? It's about getting our priorities straight, focusing on what really matters, our relationship with God. Because when the dust settles, that's the only thing that'll stand firm. Everything else, it's just temporary. Keep that in mind.